Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in this class we will be learning the shortest path algorithms that we can implement in the graphs. Please go and watch our previous videos on graphs and the traversals everything. So in this class we will be learning uh, the shortest path algorithms. In graph theory the shortest path problem is the problem of finding a path between two vertices or two nodes in a graph such that the sum of the weights of its constituent edges is minimized. That means in the shortest path algorithm we are going to find the shortest path between a pair of nodes or from a node to another node so that the weights of all the edges between those two nodes must be minimized. So this is the objective of uh, finding the shortest path in the algorithm. So this can be related to uh, and you people can relate this problem to your real world problem where you are searching for a place in your city and you, you have too many ways to reach that place and you are going to find the shortest path or the path which takes the minimum cost to reach that place right so you're going to find that and you will go on that way to solve the shortest path problem we have so many algorithms and in the series we will be learning the three important and uh, popular algorithms that is the scratch algorithm it solves the single source shortest path problem uh, that means we are given a graph and we are going to find the shortest path from a source node to all the other nodes that are in the graph so this is called the single source shortest path problem and the other one is bellman ford algorithm we solve the single source problem even if the ne even if the edge weights are negative um, normally when we are solving the shortest path problems a uh, weight should be given there for every edge if the edge is given the positive weight only we can solve that using the cross algorithm if if you are given the negative weights you can go for bellman ford algorithm and the last one is floyd Warshall algorithm which solves all pairs shortest paths this means here in this algorithm we are going to find the shortest path between every pair of nodes in the graph in today's video we are going to learn the Descartes algorithm we use Descartes algorithm to find the shortest paths from the source node to all the other nodes in the graph for a given source node in the graph, the algorithm finds the shortest path between that node and every other node, right? And this was proposed by a computer scientist uh, called Edgar W. Dijkstra in 1956, right? So let's go and do that. So here is the graph and every edge between the nodes uh, have the weights. So to reach from A to D, it takes one unit and to reach to B from A it takes 6 units and so on. Here we are going to make use of two lists, one for storing the nodes which are visited and the other one is for storing the nodes which are unvisited. Currently we have not started the algorithm so all the nodes are unvisited. And the table where we have got the list of nodes in the first column and the shortest distance from the source node. In this case A. A is the source node and in the second column we are going to store the shortest distance from A to all the other nodes and in this column I mean the third column we will also keep track of the previous nodes via which we get the shortest node to reach this node right so we are going to do that so starting from A now A is our starting point so to reach A from itself it takes zero cost that is why it is initialized uh, with zero and uh, we have not yet started the algorithm to reach the all the other nodes from A is infinity because uh, the value has not calculated yet so we have initialized with infinity right once we calculate we will erase this all and replace with the value calculated so let's start from A uh, now visit unvisited nodes which are reachable from A. Uh, the nodes D and B are the only two nodes which, which can be reachable from A and which are unvisited. So D takes 1 and B takes 6 to reach from A. Right? So here 
we're going to write that information in this table to reach B it takes six units to reach D it takes one unit right on the previous note to reach B via which we got to B is A and here also it is A right so now A is visited so this is no longer be touched at all so I'll mark this as visited by some color say black right so now visit that node which has got the minimum cost from the starting node so B has got 6 but D has got just 1 so now I visited D right now identify those nodes which are reachable from D which are not visited that is B and E now go and update the information in the table for the shortest distance from D right so for B the minimum cost to reach to B is 6 earlier but now it is 3 so how it is 3 because now we are reaching B via D so the cost involved to reach B is 1 plus 3 so now we have got the new minimum cost which is much lesser than the earlier so now it is the time to update whenever get the new cost which is minimum and you are finding the earlier cost is maximum just replace that now to reach B it is just 3 units and the previous node says and the previous node is D now to reach E it takes just 2 units why 2 units because one from A to D and another one from D to E so to reach E it takes 2 units so now I'll erase this infinity and I'll enter 2 and the previous node is D now I visited D and I will mark it as visited that's right now from D now we are going to visit that node which has got the lowest cost from the starting node that is E because it has got just two units now from E B and C are reachable and those two are also not visited now we are going to calculate the cost involved in reaching B via E and same with C via E the cost involved in reaching B is 1 plus 1 plus 2 4 so now it is 4 to reach B earlier it was 3 the newly calculated cost is higher than the earlier so we are not going to disturb this cost because this is lesser even lesser now the cost involved in reaching C via E is 1 plus 1 plus 5 which is 7 earlier cost was infinity so we will replace this and we will update the previous node as E because via E I've got into the node C so now this is over let me mark this as visited right now go to that node after E which uh, which takes the lowest cost so to reach B it takes 1 plus 1 plus 2 4 to reach C it takes 7 so 4 is the minimum cost so now I'll go and visit the B right so now from B the only node that can be reachable is C so let's go and find out the distance to C 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 9 to reach C it takes 9 units via B E and D but the earlier cost was 7 so we are not going to disturb that but we are mark this as visited right and this is the only node that is left in the graph which is not visited and now we have visited this graph and now we have visited this node and there is no node to visit from this node so we will mark this as visited so this is also over now now look at the table the cost involved in reaching the node A from itself is 0 and the cost involved in uh, reaching the B from the node A is 3 and so on right so this is the shortest distance or the shortest path so this is the shortest path from A to reach these nodes right and here in this last column you will find the shortest path how is that to reach B it takes 3 units via D so to calculate the information about D go to D to reach D it takes 1 unit from A so that is what we have got B D 
ए इज द डिस्टेंस और इज द शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ टू रीच बी एंड सो ऑन आई होप यू अंडरस्टेड दिस अलगोरिदम इफ यू हैव गॉट एनी डाउट प्लीज कॉमेंट बिलो विल ट्राई टू आंसर इट वेल फ्रेंड्स दैट्स इट फॉर द क्लास सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल ऑन यूट्यूब लाइक अवर पेज ऑन फेसबुक फॉलोअर्स ऑन ट्विटर एंड ज्वाइन अवर ग्रुप ऑन लिंक इन थैंक यू